Following the G7 summit in Hiroshima, President Yoon suk yeol returned to Seoul, where he headed to a bilateral summit with German Chancellor Olaf Scholz as soon as he landed. Our President's Office correspondent Oh Su Young has the details. South Korea and Germany have agreed to increase supply chain cooperation in defense and high tech areas. They're looking to establish a deal to protect military secrets to boost cooperation on defense technologies. President Yoon suk yeol and German Chancellor Olaf Scholz held bilateral talks since hold on Sunday following the three day G7 summit in Hiroshima. Speaking at a joint press conference, the two leaders stressed the importance of building economic resilience as both economies are highly dependent on exports and are facing systemic changes in global supply chains. Uh, Shorts further raised the need to reduce economic dependency on China highlighting partnerships with countries like South Korea and Japan. We will also cooperate with South Korea, especially in the field of electric vehicle and battery production. In particular, we will strengthen cooperation with the Republic of Korea by strengthening our innovation capacity in the semiconductor sector. Notably, Yoon and Schultz agreed to quickly establish a military secret protection agreement to increase cooperation in the defense industry. South Korea and Germany rank among the world's eight largest arms exporters as of 2022. Also, as the two governments are both pursuing a carbon-neutral future, Yoon noted that Ho decided to join the G7's climate club spearheaded by the German Chancellor. With this year marking the 140th anniversary of Korea-Germany relations and 60 years since Korean guest workers headed to Germany as nurses and minors, Schulz is the first incumbent German leader to visit Seoul since 1993. Noting how Germany had also experienced national division but unified some 33 years ago, Schulz conveyed his sympathy and support for peace on the Korean Peninsula and the complete denuclearization of North Korea. Having also discussed the Russian invasion of Ukraine, both leaders expressed their solidarity with Kyiv and pledged continued support for the people of Ukraine. As countries that have both experienced the plight of division in modern history, President Yoon said the two nations should grow ever closer as they move into the future, building a bridge of solidarity for peace and prosperity across Europe and Asia. Oh Young, Arirang News.